Hello everybody, welcome again. This is a Flower Factor tutorial video and today I would like to show you how to make a construction uh, made with uh, these uh, dry lotto leaves. Uh, they are very nice and of course I'm using now this material but you can choose uh, whatever you want as long as it's something like a sheet and you can bend it and you can uh, twist it because this is what I'm going to do now. Just take a leaf and twist it and bend it up to you and then of course to keep it this in this shape just glue with using the hot glue in between the waves. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to do is just gluing the, the, the groups of leaves here inside uh, of the container using again the hot glue So this is the final result, uh, as you can see uh, you need several leaves, uh, as much you have, as much interesting you get the, the texture and the construction and also as you can see I have also glued some dry leaves around outside of the container so you can go out a little bit more out the container and get bigger surface. And what is missing now is just to place the uh, glass tubes using the space and the holes that uh, you have created uh, with the leaves. And to fix the glass tubes, just I will use some hot glue and I will glue it in between. Next step, fill it up the glass tubes with water. And now it's time to play with the flowers. In this case, today we are going to use this wonderful fresia, white fresia, and these beautiful cymbidiums. I will start with the cymbidiums because it's the biggest flower, so it needs more space. For me it's easier to start always to work with the big flower. Just using the glass tubes to place flowers. Playing with the directions of the flowers is also interesting to get more movement, to get more rhythm. It's also up to you, you can uh, add more flowers, less flowers. I will also use this wonderful um, leaves. As you can see with the color, uh, we have here the blue, we have here the uh, brown, green color. So I'm trying to make a connection between the container and the flowers. So the final touch in this case will be uh, the sisal, uh, just few, you know, to work with sisal is very dangerous, you have only to use some fibers to get this movement and also in this case as you can see this is a blue sisal so it's matching with the 
container, color container. And as I told you, this way I'm getting the connection between container and arrangement. So this is it. I hope you like it and get inspired. And see you soon in another Flower Factor video. Bye.